guys welcome back to my channel today we have a plant haul and a plant share for my first ever plant exchange at work so let me show you what i got for this week for this week okay first let me show you this beautiful golden pothos right here i bought three of those one of which i gifted to a friend but anyhow these are from Kroger, super healthy, as you guys can see. And these are $1.99 with the pot. $1.99, two bucks. Can't even get a pot for that price. And then, this is the other one that I actually grabbed. Super gorgeous. How could you pass that? The marbling on this one. I seriously think that this is a Hawaiian golden pothos, but it says right here that it is just a golden pothos that is from the Solomon Highlands, so I don't know if that's in Hawaii, but yeah, that's that, and they are, in this plant, there are new babies, so pretty excited about that. I already have like a tower, like, that I did like a pole on it, and then another thing from Kroger is this gorgeous dracaena right over here again this is my second one this is the white jewel um, dracaena I just love the variegation on the leaf where it's like white and then you have like that nice coloring right there so um, you know what now that I'm thinking about it I think that it's not the same let me guys so, this one is, yeah, this is different. This is the Warnick one that I've got, and it has grown um, so much. And even, oh, there's a bug right there. So, my plants are still all outdoors, but this coming week, they're going to have to go inside. So, I'm prepping them so they can start to acclimate. But this one I got... So I guess it's different because this is the other one. Yep. And then I got another one. I think I got this one. I think this one is the same as this for some reason. It looks the same, but this one has a wider white stripes. But anyhow, they are thriving. Trailing beautifully. Gonna have to wait okay so that's Kroger and then let me show you guys my um, finds for today for um, those first of all um, if you guys have interest I'm sitting on it so I'm gonna kind of like tilt it for you guys to see that is almost the size of me and it looks like that on the inside so um, they were originally $70 and they are clearancing them out for 20 bucks I was gonna buy them when they were 40 bucks but I'm so glad that I've waited look at my beautiful skin depths it's just hanging out in here this is the one from a couple of months ago from customers how let's not um, get distracted as I was saying mm, this the zebra plant is telling me that it needs water so I need to water my plants here you guys it has been raining okay again distracted so um yeah that's Lowe's and now let me show you the plan so this one was from the Lowe's over at 60 mile didn't see something that sparks joy for me so I left it right there so um, I asked my plant guy who is Josh hi Josh if there's any interest interesting plants that is worth it for me to see because I haven't been there in um, a few days just because it's just I don't know it's just work and there's nothing interesting when I go so I let it pass my hair looks like a troll so 
he said yes and he sent me a picture and long and behold could not believe this you all are crazy plant people they have a maharani alocasia oh my god look how beautiful this is i have seen this before if you go to a specialty plant shop like my favorite ones which is tally's i have to show you guys it has a little boo boo right there but i'm not taking it out because it's an older leaf i feel but she is still beautiful these are maharani's um in in the thing it just would say like um urban urban jungle urban jungle and it comes with this pot so these these ones are like twelve dollars yeah twelve ninety eight so um anyhow what was i gonna say so it just says alocasia right here right there so it doesn't say what kind of alocasia but being i have been watching a lot of these crazy plant people that has rare and uncommon plants i kind of like figured that this is alocasia mahara so maybe i'll do that yep so yeah i'm very happy to finally have one on my collection they only have one i would have bought more just for insurance purpose just in case if it dies or really the actual reason is because i'm a hoarder so yeah and especially for this price to like put it in a pot normally you probably pay like i don't know 30 bucks for something like this but to see it in a big box store and they are they are looking all healthy if you guys can see the white stock right over there yes i'll take care so if you guys are wondering i have soundtrack music just because i live in detroit people so we got a lot of party in here in my neighborhood but let me just put that back oops did i see one of my stuff okay my plants need some water the nice thing about my plants living outdoor is that i I don't have the same problem as like indoors that I stare at them all the time and so I overwater. Now I underwater, which is great because it's like less lethal to the plant than being an overwater. Anyhow, the next one that I picked up and I was so shocked that they have it. I, I am almost positive that this is it, but what do I know? I think I damaged it. But I found this beautiful Dracaena right over here. Oh, Sansevieria. Look at me. Sansevieria. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Moonshine Sansevieria. And the reason why I say that as I put my soil on myself is that because of the white um, leaf right over here. So... Um, it is one of those rare plants. I was going to buy this in a local nursery because obviously their plants are going to be better. But for the price of this, I'm so glad that I saw it. And wait for it, it is on clearance. How'd that happen? Because they just got this. So, but anyhow, very happy for this one. So, to add to my collection. So, yep. So those are my haul from Lowe's. Now let me show you. I had five that I gave up and it was a very hard decision for me to pick the plant that I actually was going to give. I have been saving it for like, I don't know, two weeks now because I announced it. I was the one that actually thought about it. And you know, cause people keep on asking me about like this and that and that. So I was like, you know what let's just freaking have like a plant exchange so now a couple of people at work are actually excited and we got a good turnout for our first ever plant haul and i just literally destroyed my red um allocation or anthurium right over here so i was picking out the dead plants as i was talking to you guys for making this video and it needs to be repotted but that's not the purpose of that so this is what happens when you don't have time 
and I need to hurry up in here because my husband's done up for work and I already had dinner. Usually we go together but he was spending his moment with him, his friends so I thought I had a moment with video but guys I wanted to show you this alley. This is not an alocasia. This is also an alocasia. What? It unfrailed already and it's growing. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to repot it soon, but because it's beautiful. So, this is the one that we get from Tilly's. So, sitting right over here. And my beautiful, beautiful clearance find from a couple of months ago my pilea okay this is not about you guys all right so as i was saying um first ever plant exchange so here is i gave up five plants so um i actually gave up i actually um exchange or trade that's what we call it um a lemon lime philodendron um, a lemon lime <clears throat> Moran pardon me Maranta pray prayer plant which is one of my guys right here I have a big one too but I just love them they're so beautiful and they're not closing up yet as they are in as, I, as they are outside they actually don't close up as much probably because there's still sun in here but anyhow that and then um i have um an air plant and then i also got um shoot i forgot how could i forget this i got a um dracaena that I also have a lemon lime dracaena and then what is wrong with me my goodness I, I really am having a, a blank drop but I gave up five I forgot what I gave up I should have taken a picture but anyhow so that means that I got five so shared two of them that I received and kept the ones that I liked. So, the ones that I gave up is a Kalanchoe with white flowers. I gave that to my um, really sweet, sweet co-worker Abby. Hi, Abby. Um, and then the other one was a Peperomia Optusifolia because I already have one, which is I got the green one here somewhere but I can't find her at the moment I guess I didn't have the green one oh my god why did I give that up no I really have it anyhow I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna show you guys so these are the ones that I kept for myself first who will give up a mykins this was gifted or traded by um, one of our doctors Dr. Pettit, who is so sweet and always helping me in a pinch, but yep, oh my goodness, something happened to that. So this is my fourth um, Mykins, because I bought three, maybe four, one, two, three, oh, I guess I only have three, so this is my fourth. So I love Mykins, I love Mykins, for all of you that doesn't know, they are a heart-shaped, velvety leaf. They, these are still considered, I would say, like rare and hard to find plants, but it's not really. You can find them now. But um, it's still very pricey if you don't get it from like, if you don't get it from like the big box store and you can find it there, which, what, which is what I did. Um, Actually, yes, I did find it on the. So this is one of them that I bought a couple of months ago, and it's trailing beautifully. These are by Costa Farms, but oh, here we go. 
these are by urban jungle so beautiful they starting to like do weird stuff so but nevertheless they are growing look at this beautiful leaf right here so yep that is my philodendron Next one that I receive is from my favorite store and this is from my my co-worker Rashad da, da, da. I put it on this pot um, I received I put my it was from my peperomia obtusifolia that I can't find to show you guys but um problem with this is that the leaves are so delicate. Well, I already know that because I'm familiar with, um, with, what do you call these? These type of, like, I can't talk. Um, succulents. But this one is called so Sodium Robi. It's right here, you guys. Let me see if I can take this because I want to keep it here so I will remember the plant. So it's this one. Ooh, can you guys see it right there? If my camera will focus. And this is from Tally. So he went there and he was actually blaming me for introducing him to Tally's, but. How could you not? They are so dainty. I think I'm going to keep them somewhere that ooh, they're very dainty. So, but anyhow, that's the one, one of them. <clears throat> it was quite a trip trying to bring them to the house. And then <clears throat> another favorite of mine, let's just talk about this pot. This is from my friend Eric. Um, this one is a, oh, oh, there's two pots in here, oh, cool, um, <clears throat> a jade plant, so I have several jade plants, I just replanted one of them, um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one because of the pot, I don't think I'm going to transplant it, it doesn't have a drainage hole, so I'm going to have to be creative about that, but yep so and that is it you guys that is our beautiful beautiful haul for today thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys soon bye